Welcome everybody to the first ever NHL Stanley Cup Final Preview. This matchup is of course is the Florida Panthers taking on the Vegas Golden Knights and we're going to start off with the Florida Panthers because it is our favorites and um, we're going to start off with them first. The eastern side going towards the western side like we did with the Miami Heat. Um, so yeah, let's let's talk about this. Florida Panthers coming in uh, to the Stanley Cup Finals, the A seed. Right now, it's first ever A seed to make it to the finals in NHL history. It could be wrong. They have the final record of 42, 32, and 8, which equals up to 92 points. So, with that, the Panthers barely made the playoffs with a little bit of help uh, to try to get their oh, uh, their end of the bargain. But also, too, if somebody could assist them by beating other teams for them to make it to the to the playoffs. And the teams included uh, that were stacked against them, the Islanders, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, and Ottawa. And um, Florida has already beaten Ottawa, so they were essentially eliminating them from the playoffs. Alex Lyon was that key goalie to create that spark to not only to make it the first time with the three-game, not three-game win streak, four-game win streak, and then the five-game win streak, and then the six-game win streak. They got hot at the right time. So we were thinking playoffs because now it's now it's um, now it's pressure time because we because we're this close on making it to the playoffs, and then with that we have lost in overtime against Toronto, and the Islanders lost their game as well to the Capitals at that point. So I'm like, we're thinking, shit, we were gonna, uh, we are probably gonna make the playoffs, but then we did not. So the help, so like there was some help, like we were speculating that Buffalo loses to New Jersey and Pittsburgh losing to Chicago. Like we were thinking that, right? It did happen. Shockingly, it did happen. Chicago ends up beating Pittsburgh as well as New Jersey beating Buffalo. And that ultimately clinched Florida into the playoffs like that. So... Um, so that's how they made the playoffs. And ultimately, um, if they remained at the seventh seed, they would have played Carolina. Well, they, eventually they did. But no, that didn't happen as they were the eighth seed. And we pretty much just, we we come a long way since being the eighth seed coming up. Because we had Boston first, um, and we end up beating them in seven on a, on a crazy 3-1 comeback. Because Boston wins 3-1. Uh, at home in game one. That was the game one curse that we had. Florida responds with 6-3 uh, win in Boston uh, in game two. Boston comes down to Florida with, where Boston wins 4-2 uh, in game three. And then Boston wins 6-2. A little bit worse than what happened game three, game four. So then that makes them up to 3-1. Game five, Panthers wins 4-3 in overtime by Kachuk. Uh, overtime goal. We're not gonna. That's not gonna be the first to hear about it. And if Marchin did not, or Brad Marchin did not make that goal, uh, then yeah, that that's where it happened. If he did make that goal, we would not be talking about the Stanley Cup Finals. So then we go to Game Six, where it was one of the best games ever. Um, Florida wins and prevails seven to five, and we forced a Game Seven, and we go back up to TD Garden. Where ultimately Carter Verhage puts up uh, the finishing touches against Boston and wins it four to three in overtime, and Boston was left home unhappy. So historically, the greatest hockey team in, to win in a regular season was a first round exit, and Florida goes on this reign of terror run. They create turnovers, and they did that against Toronto, and they won Toronto in five. And we won both. We won all three games in Toronto, Canada. Panthers win four two game one. Panthers win three two in uh, Toronto. Uh, Panthers win game three in Florida in overtime, and that's a that's a end uh, around goal from Sam Reinhart. Panthers did not win game four, so they for, so Toronto forced game five, and then we won in overtime with um, with Nick Cousins. The, and then we advanced to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time since 1996. And then we swept the Carolina Hurricanes. 
Panthers win 3, 2, and 4 overtimes. Oh, God. I remember making a video that was 2 in the morning. So, yeah, yeah, that was that was crazy. Then the Panthers, and by the way, that was Kachuk who making that goal. Um, game 2, uh, we, won, we won another one in overtime. And it was Kachuk again. Three times already. Then we go to Florida, where Barkov got hurt. Reinhardt's one and only goal of the game against Carolina, and we are up 3-0. Three, three oh. Carolina versus Florida in game four. Panthers win 4-3, and just like that, we swept the Carolina Hurricanes, and then we go to the Stanley Cup Finals, and that's how they got there. That's how they got there. Crazy AC team with Kachuk's offense as well as Barkov's making that comeback with some points. And we cannot forget... Alex Lyon start off, uh, started off the playoffs. He won us one game. But since that switch from Paul Maurice to Sergei Bobrovsky, Bobrovsky was a brick wall throughout the playoffs. He was playing unbelievably good. Much like his days back with the Blue Jackets, how good of a goalie he, he was. And that this Columbus Blue Jackets, uh, Sergei Bobrovsky, is back. So... Let's see what happens with the Bobrovsky um, against the Golden Knights. And that's the team we're going to talk about next. Vegas Golden Knights. How do they get here? Well, they got um, their final record was the top team of the Pacific Division with, uh, with the record of 51-22-9. They have 111 points. Now, we, we've, been through, we've been through some tough matches. We've been through some big teams. This one is a little bit different because this is the West team now. The best team in the West. Best team in the division division. So, um, so for Vegas, they had made the playoffs um, essentially already in the month of March. And then, um, and then they go into the playoffs. And their first opponents in the month of April was against the Winnipeg Jets. And um, the Vegas... Vegas actually lost game one against the Jets 5-1. to one. Um, And then Vegas just responds in a big way. Golden Knights win 5-2 um, in game two. Um, Golden Knights win in the close battle 4-5 to five, um, in double overtime. That's in Winnipeg now. Vegas wins game four, 4-2 four in Winnipeg. And then they go back to Vegas and, and put the finishing touches against the Jets 4-1. Next up, against the Edmonton Oilers. And this was a pretty good series. Pretty good series. Vegas wins game one against the Oilers 6-4. Oilers respond 5-1 in game two. Vegas responds identically 5-1 um, in game three in Edmonton. Uh, Oilers uh, ties up the series 4-1 in Edmonton. They go back down to Vegas where it was a close battle. Um, 4-3 Vegas. And then Vegas goes back up to Edmonton and puts the finishing touches in six games. 5-2 was the final score in game six. And then and in this series, we were waiting on who's going to be our opponent from this series. The Dallas Stars versus Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas took the first three games. Two of them in overtime. Final score of game one was four to three. Final score of game two was three to two. Final score of game three was four nothing. So we were thinking sweep as well. But Dallas, they're putting up a fight. They win game four in overtime, uh, three to two. Golden Knights could not finish it off in Vegas uh, as Dallas prevails four to two and and. Um, this is where it scares Vegas because they have been through been down the road where they got reverse swept, meaning the Sharks. I think it was the Sharks. Um, they were down three zero and they came all the way back up and beat Vegas. That's what I heard at least. And then, but but that didn't matter. They 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 got through it as Vegas uh, pounds the Stars six nothing in Dallas, and they are move on to the um, to the Stanley Cup. They are the Western Conference champions. And they take on the Florida Panthers. Um, Marsha saw the former Panthers has been has been really good for for Vegas. Uh, uh, Eichel, I think that's how you say it. 
William Carlson, um, those are the tough players. Uh, Colasar and Marshall Saul again. And we got we to gotta also talk about um, their goaltenders. Their goalie, yeah. They have a good they have a good goalie. They really do have a good a good goalie. It's it's um his name is Adam Hill. Adam Hill. Adam Hill. He's making he's making some some saves and um he has played 11 games um in this playoffs. He has won 7 and only lost 3. Um and I think it was the and, and I think and I think with him he replaces um Laurent uh, Brossoit because he was struggling in the playoffs, but Hill was managing to get it done. So, in terms of uh, in terms of history, so in the short history with the Vegas Golden Knights and Florida Panthers, Vegas um, has the advantage six to four head to head record against the Florida Panthers. The first ever meeting was uh, was back to December eighteenth, two thousand seventeen, where Vegas wins that game. Five to two, and then their next game um, was was um, was January twentieth, uh, twenty eighteen, where Florida wins that one four to three. Um, so it's a little bit of back and forth. Vegas ultimately a better team, but our a recent matchup against each other, uh, March eighth, twenty twenty three, Florida wins it two to one uh, in Florida. So and. Um, that's the head-to-head -head record, six to four Vegas, um, no draws. That overtime goal happened in 2018. Yeah, so 2018, that was five years ago. That's the same year that Vegas, in the first expansion year, um, in which I will talk about that in a moment, is when they made that Stanley Cup. Just so happens that Florida wins that, wins that one at January 20th, 2018. That was his final score, four to three. Um, and in terms of in terms of schedule, the first game will be at June third, eight o'clock, and all of them are going to be at TNT. June third, uh, eight o'clock Eastern. Um, I think it's five o'clock Pacific. I'm pretty sure it's five o'clock Pacific. Okay, I just did a little bit of um, look up, and it was Pacific time, so I was right initially. All right, yeah, next Monday, June 5th, will be Game 2, 5, uh, 5 o'clock Pacific, 8 o'clock Eastern. Thursday, um, June 8th, will be Game 3, and this will take place in Florida. Now, the first two is in Vegas. 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific. June 10th, um, Florida is at home, 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific. And if necessary, which I'm pretty sure will be necessary, June 13th, which is a Tuesday, it will be 8 o'clock Eastern in Vegas, 5 o'clock Pacific. Then go back home uh, to Florida for Game 6 uh, Friday. So now it's a three-day part thing. Um, 8 o'clock Eastern and 5 o'clock Pacific. And finally, if necessary, Game 7, Monday, June 19th, 8 o'clock Eastern. Eastern at 5 o'clock Pacific Game 7 in Vegas. But no, that's going to do it for this video, folks. Who do you think is going to win this series? I, I'm i picking the Florida Panthers, of course, because I'm a Panthers and a proud Panthers fan. Florida makes it to the Stanley Cup Finals, second time in the franchise history um, since 1996. But for Vegas, this is also their second time in franchise history the first ever Stanley Cup final trip was their expansion year where they played against Washington and they ultimately lose that series uh, in six um, uh, or five it's one of those two for Florida the first time in Stanley Cup they got swept by the Avalanche Florida hoping to change that and hopefully they actually win this time uh, to make history so yeah there you go that's your preview for this um, if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content because Miami TVG has your back. And when he does, he'll be right there with the entertainment you deserve. Let's go Panthers. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow night for the recap of the Miami Heat. Let's see what happens. This is a big time. June is going to be the, if not the biggest month in Miami sports history. One of the biggest. All right.
Marlins going on some run. Um, the Hurricanes baseball is in the in that regional series as they're hosting it and trying to go to the College World Series. So we got to watch out for that. And then we got these two teams and into Miami's U.S. Open Cup run. So, yeah, big month for Miami sports. And, yeah, let's see where it goes from there. All right. Good night, everybody.